All right, so Andrew here with uh, we're actually going to be checking out how Luxian LEDs um, work on the aquarium. So I don't actually have the full array up right now. Uh, it's only at half power because, well, it takes a long time to make these. But if we move back, eventually we're going to have four. Uh, but you can see right now we've got quite a bit of light coming out of them. I'm just going to move up closer so we can see here. And you can see at the back here we have, uh, these are just LM317s. Let's see if I can, okay, LM317s with a capacitor and a resistor. Uh, very simple constant current circuit. And the good news is that if you use like 36 volts to drive it, um, your efficiency goes way up. Um, we're probably 94, I'll say 90% efficient with the lights. Um, the fan you just heard on is the power supply. I have to figure out a way to kind of get it to quiet down because these things draw a lot of power. Uh, so we're going to take a look at... the actual LED thing. As you can see on top, we've got a heat sink. These are AMD K8 heat sinks. They've got a large surface area on the bottom. This right here is actually a piece of PVC that they use for the downspouts for gutters. They have a nice little hole cut in them. Uh, the black stuff here is black silicone. I, I did make these before with some opaque silicone. Um, if you're going to make these, it has to be a, a solid color. Otherwise, it's just going to leak through. Now, I have not... I'm going to line these with aluminum foil uh, so we can get even less light leakage because, as you can see, like there's a lot... It'll light up my hand and stuff. So Now, we're going to turn it over for the very, very bright part of it. It's beautiful. Um, I actually, when I look at these, I can't look at these directly because they're so bright. And so there's 12 on here. There's 12 Luxions. So that would be 60 watts worth of light on one heat sink. I have experimented with, uh, you know, mounting the the... LEDs on a piece of sheet metal and stuff and putting the uh, heat sinks on that. It doesn't work. They have to be mounted directly on the heat sink. And um, the best way to do that actually is with um, some thermal tape. I got this stuff they use for mounting heat sinks on RAM modules. So that works good. And then connecting the LEDs, I used to use straight wire, but then I found this flat uh, wire. It's called tabbing wire, and they use it in solar panels. And uh, it, it makes uh, the job a lot easier. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, there's no way you'll be able to. Well, maybe. We'll zoom in. There, you can see that little piece there. Um, Get my finger in there. Right there. That's the piece of tabbing wire. It works great. Um, now these have been on 